Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Gardens at Inspirata. But before we get into this one, I wanna congratulate last week's winner. I'm gonna throw your name right here. Again, congratulations. I'm gonna message you. You have to email me back in order to get your email address to get you that $25 Amazon gift card. So don't forget, one winner once a week, one $25 Amazon gift card. Let's get on into this one. So, we are in Inspirata. This one right here, this is the 1558 model. Two story, two to three bed, two and a half bath, two car garage. This one starts at 324,990. Now, the lot premiums are anywhere between, call it 10 and $20,000, and then you could put, you know, up to, call it 15% into the home, as far as options, upgrades, all of that kind of stuff. But do me that huge, huge favor. Make sure to hit the like button. Again, I put videos out every single day. I'm trying to do two a day. So if you want to stay up to date, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Let's get on into this one. Now, if you are new to the channel, I know we have a lot of new subscribers. Make sure to do yourself a favor and call a realtor if you're looking at new construction. Because if you go in, walk into the models, fill out information online, the builder's not going to let you be represented. The salespeople will work for the builder and have their fiduciary responsibility to the builder. So again, all my info down in the description below. Again, fun little fact, if you are going to buy new, if you're gonna buy resale even, the seller or the builder pay the commission. So again, feel free to reach out to me. All my info down in the description below. Right here we have our oak closet. Now this is pretty highly upgraded. The flooring's upgraded. There's a lot of upgrades that I'm already seeing. Right here, this is gonna be our powder room, but for some reason, I just walked in to just try to use it, actually. It's locked. But before we check out the downstairs area, let's go ahead and head on upstairs. So again, this probably has, they told me, call it 15 to 20%, so maybe $60,000 in options, upgrades, all that good stuff. Again, if you have questions, please, 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 Reach out to me, I'd love to answer anything, help you out in any way possible. So coming on up, what do we have and where do we wanna go? Let's start right here. I do like how open this is. I feel like I would wanna do, again, I'm such a fan of like the big drop chandeliers, so something right there to kind of wow factor. But right here, we have first bedroom. And I'm gonna be honest with you, Depending on, I'm just seeing this sign right here, and I know KB. This is a KB build to get in Inspirata in Henderson, southwestern portion. If you get a different model, well, same model, different facade, different elevation exterior, you're gonna lose that bump out. So it's gonna make the room feel even smaller. It already is a, it's a smaller room. I'm gonna be honest again. The home isn't massive, it's 1,558 square feet, but if you didn't get the right elevation, you have that closed off, it would be a small room. Full size bed, nightstand, I do like telescope. But again, if you lose, that's like a good, what? Five, six square feet, and when you hear five, six square feet, it probably doesn't seem like a lot. But in a bedroom, five square feet is a ton of space. It's a that's more than a desk. So you have your dresser, you do have your window. By the way, I didn't mention it. Out here we do have SIDS. If you didn't know what those are, they're special improvement district tax. On this side, the HOA is 85 a month and you have just under $4,000 in SIDS. Now, you can pay that off right away. You can pay that Usually they're paid uh, biannually in July and January, but once you pay that off, you're done with it. This is actually a Jack and Jill bathroom. So it's kind of cool that this shares a bathroom. I am so curious, let me know. I like the fact that there is the makeup area kind of thing, but I feel like most buyers are going to want the double sink. Again, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. This is actually the higher height countertops upgraded cabinets I can already tell but I don't know if they have the bumpers yeah they have the bumpers they're not soft closing 
You can go to Lowe's, Home Depot, that kind of thing to get the soft closing if you want it. I always recommend people don't do the upgraded soft closing unless you really absolutely want it because you can always go and get the, the hinges later on. They did do their medicine cabinet. It's really, I'm actually impressed with how nice this bathroom is, but again, personal opinion, I would want the second seat and the storage. Again, I know other people are gonna want other things. It's just, just me. There's so much room right here. I already, I'm already hearing you guys in the comments. The toilet is so close to the tub and there's so much space right here. I wish they had shifted the toilet like even six inches, 12, whatever, just to get it away from the tub a bit. Even honestly, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. You could easily retrofit the house and get another doorway right here. I, I don't know if that's an option. It may be. I know they change up the models all the time. They do different things. They have different options. I would 100%, no questions asked. If this is how much space there is, I would throw a wall up right here. I would throw a door and close off this area so that you could use the sinks while someone is still using the toilet or the shower because there's so much room right here. Kind of surprised they didn't do a door right here. So toilet, tub shower combo. Now again, this is a fiberglass composite tub, fiberglass composite walls. A lot of people do like this because there's no grout lines. It's easier to clean. I know, I'm already reading the comments. I love the fact that there are the little shelves for your soap, shampoos, all of that good stuff. It's nice. It is really nice. I'm gonna be honest. I do like this. I'm really being nitpicky. You have a window right here and it does open. I'm so curious to see how it is with the other homes across the street because this is eye level right here. So you're, I wish they did privacy glass. I would even be okay with the single sink, but I wish they did another door right here and I'm not trying to knock it. I, I love how open it is. You could do so much stuff with how much space there is here. But again, just, I'm hopefully having kids in the future. And I already know I had a brother and yeah. So <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Second bedroom, nice size bedroom. Actually it feels bigger than the first one. So twin size bed, you know what it is? The doors are in a better position on this one. So you have your door doorway right there, full size bed, dresser. It's a nice room. That first room felt just, I don't know what it was. It felt a little bit more cramped than this one. Again, it may feel different once you put a full size bed, but the twin actually works in here really, really well. This one even has a oh, big walk-in. I don't know why they're not, you know, putting a bar, double bar. It's a really, really, really large second closet. I've seen master bedrooms that have closets smaller than this. Really, really, really nice size secondary closet. But again, if we spin, this is a nice size bedroom. Probably, let's call it 10 by 12. If we come on out again, the stairs are right here. That first bedroom right there, which is so strange. You know what it is? Because the bathroom eats up part of it. I, uh, the second bedroom feels bigger than the first. If we spend some more, we get into our laundry room. So again, it's a good idea, a good show of what standard's gonna be. Now the flooring, 100% upgraded, but you'll have your area for your washer. They're gonna put the pan here. There's actually a drain here that will drain outside. Heaven forbid your washer decides to leak, drain, whatever. It will leak outside so you don't have a flood in here. You have your space for your dryer. You will get the shelf. And then you could always throw a hamper or whatever right here. Now you will get hard surface flooring in all the wet areas. Laundry, kitchen, entry, and bathrooms. Now this is 100% is upgraded. But if we spin, come on down the hall, I'm guessing linen. Yep, linen closet. And then, why are the lights not on? 
There we go. And then we get to master bedroom. So, ooh, this is kind of cool. I'm just gonna close the door. I wish they took the door off of it in the model. But right here we have our first closet. Again, nice size. If this was the only one, I would say it would be small, but you could easily throw like shelving right here. I, the closets in here, honestly, are really, really nice size. I just feel like they're not utilizing the space as well as they could. I feel like if you even did it yourself, you go to California closets, even the container store or Ikea, you could really do up this closet nice. And the awesome thing is there's another closet straight across and similar size. It's a little bit different layout because it has this bump out, but there's so much room right here. I know if you have the clothes sticking out, but still like if you want to do a smaller, narrower shelf for like shoes or whatnot, you could 100% do it. And even right here, I feel like shelves, something. There's a lot of unused space in here. They're really nice size closets. Into the bedroom we go, but king size bed, nightstand, well, sorry, excuse me, two nightstands, bench, a lot of natural light, really good amount of natural light. I'm just gonna walk over here and spin around. It needs, it needs something. There's so much extra space unutilized right here. It needs a tree, it needs a chair, something. I, I honestly, it needs a tree. It just, I don't know. It's a nice size room though. Really nice size room. <laughs> Especially for a home that is under 1,600 square feet. Again, we're over in Inspirata just so you can see the mountains and whatnot. Some of these are gonna have really pretty views. Now, I can't promise you all of these, be uh, these views will be intact because again, right here, they're gonna be building. So you'll probably lose those mountains, but it is pretty up here. And again, this bedroom for this size home is really, really a nice size. Coming into the master bath. And again, I don't know why they keep turning off the lights. Is there a door right here? Nope. So you have your double vanities. Again, whatever cabinets you pick, they're going to put throughout the house. So they obviously did great cabinets in the kitchen. You do have one medicine cabinet. I'm kind of surprised they didn't do the towel, like the hand towel loops, like here or here. But again, upgraded cabinet, and we have our tub shower combo. Let me know what you think. And again, I'm not trying to knock the builder. I feel like there's too much room here, like. Center the toilet a bit. I get that they're centering it over this window. It just feels like it's really, really close to the tub. And I am so curious to hear what you guys have to say. I may be completely wrong with what you guys think. It's just uh, personal opinion. Love to hear what you guys have to say. Love the size of this tub. It's like, I don't know, it's way wider than standard. Nice size. It does have all the shelves. Again, fiberglass composite. You do have a window that would open. There's your shower head. And I love the fact that the towel bars are right there. Again, I just, I wish that they did privacy glass. Again, I, I joke about it all the time. We live in Vegas. Not everyone wants to put on a Vegas show, but you know, let me know what you think about it. I'm. I feel like they are like 95% of the way there. There's just like these little tiny, tiny things that would make it the next 5%. Let me know what you guys think. Let's go ahead and go on downstairs. Let's check out the kitchen, living, dining, all that good stuff. Again, if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Let me know if um, what I'm thinking is completely off basis. Again, it's personal opinion. I just want to hear what you guys have to say right here we get to the living area. So I do like this downstairs area because it's very, very open. I actually, I just sold a home that I'm gonna be filming the model next door. 
it's the exact same model that they still build. But you have your living. And I love how many windows there are. There's a lot of natural light. Again, front door, half bath. Then you have your TV area. I like these homes. I think they're pretty neat. Right here we have storage, coat closet, all of that good stuff. Well, it's kind of funny that they have more coat closet storage here because there's coat closet right there. But again, a lot of people like the storage. I am a huge fan of it. I wish I had more storage in my house. And this goes all the way down and back around. So coming out, there's a good amount of storage in here. So dining area. And they could have gone way, way bigger with this table. There's easily five feet right here. Right there is your two car garage. Now the garage in these homes are on the back side of the home. And then all of these are gonna have side yards. Now, this one's kind of funny, again, because it's the model, it's also sales office. You have to imagine that this won't be here. So it's gonna go straight back because this is part of the sales office. So your, your side yard will be double this size. Now, when you buy new, you're considering buying new, you have to budget for the backyard. Again, average home out here, backyard is 12 to 15,000. These only have, call them side yards, not true backyards, but Inspirata has smaller yards. So if you were to do it all with pavers, landscaping, that kind of thing, you're probably looking at like maybe 7,000, six, 7,000. Now, if you want to do like a small, they call them spools. They're spa pools, maybe 15, 20,000. So 30,000, but again, they're smaller yards. Again, you're not gonna have to pay as much, but I feel like there's so much extra room here. I'm gonna spin real quick so you can see dining, kitchen, living, all that good stuff. It is a nice size space. I do like all the openness. Right here we have our kitchen again. It's open. I feel like, let me know what you guys think. I feel like they should have extended this out and maybe done like two bar stools. There's, you could put an island in the middle of this. There's a lot of space. They did the upgraded countertops. They did the backsplash. Here's your undermounted sink. Right here's your view. I do really, really like the fact that you can see everyone while washing dishes. You just can't see the TV or anything like that, but it's cool that you can talk to everyone. Right here is your dishwasher. Now, I believe these are the upgraded appliances. You will get usually really nice appliances. I don't know if the stainless steel is standard in this community. They keep changing it like every week. So stainless steel appliances. They're having a problem right now with the builders getting appliances. Just the supply chain after last year uh, has been affected, but there are doing 42 inch uppers. There's actually a good amount of counter space in here. You have your oven, five burner cooktop, microwave, and I always like to check. It does vent outside. No phone jack. And then right here is our pantry. Lots of water. I know uh, after this year, everyone's stocking up on supplies, but they usually keep like a, like a water tank for their clients and customers. And then you have your refrigerator and more storage. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I feel like there's just a lot of space right here. I think it would have been cool to do maybe an overhang right here. But again, I want to hear what you guys have to say. I love reading your comments. You guys throw out really good ideas. I know some people just watch these tours even to get an idea of remodeling. They want ideas to see what the builders are doing, all of that good stuff. Again, if you have questions, all my info is down in the description below. Would love to answer any questions. Love to help you out in any way possible. Again, hit the like button. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Make sure to subscribe. Again, I put videos out every single day. 
And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.